Hello everybody. Welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes. Don't you feel nice? Guess what people? That is going to work splendidly. I got it all installed. Dry fit. I'm going to trim that one back. Probably well, trim this one back because I want it in, far the, in, in front of the turbine enough to where I can get it out. I think. <laughs> you know that Bob O'Neill goes, it might change three times by the time I get it, everything mounted. But uh, it's all gonna work out great. The ducks look awesome inside there. Let's see if I can't turn this light on again. Ducks look great. No big old seam right there because see when you cut that man it's just right there. When you're standing up here looking down at it man you can see it. So you know I just couldn't have that. Now we got nice clean looking ducks all the way back. You can't even really tell where I got it spliced in. Well you know the other pieces. Looks good. Now what I gotta do is uh, take this wing off and uh, do a little bit of trimming. I know what needs trim just on the bottom a little bit because I have just a little bit of a gap in between my two ducts. I'll tell you what, my molded flange lip sure does hold on there good. And then see this, just pull this back, bam, only moves about an inch, inch and a half, and that's ready to come out. So if I can get that to come out pretty easy, it won't be bad. You no, know, if we got to get into taking the turbine out. <laughs> You know, that really ain't the end of the world either. It's really only four screws that'll come out with my screw gun. And, uh, some uh, Festos, <laughs> a couple Festos, a couple clips. Bam, that's out of there in about a minute and a half. I'm going to have to get these, uh, Allen bolts in the nut driver. Better. Okay, this one's ready to come off. They still fit pretty tight, but I'd rather have them tight than loose. We don't want loose. Loose and jets just don't get along. Look at them big old feet. Not trip me. Okay. Let's see if we can't get this off without everything going crash. They sure they fit pretty tight yet. We have to get you guys out the way. Don't want you getting hurt. <laughs> I guess I should have pulled that back too, might have helped a little. See, it goes on. I got it marked. It goes on about three eighths of an inch, half inch. But these had a little bit of a gap in them, and that's because of this corner. I need to trim the bottom corners on both of them. About an eighth, and uh, they'll go together. See, my gas tanks will sit right here, man. Just right on, almost on the CG. <coughs> I'm gonna have to build a, put another 
half bulkhead right there. They'll still be in front of the CG a little bit, but I'm sure got them going way back. About as far as you'll ever see on a warbird. <laughs> right there. Bam. See, the CG's probably going to be about right here. So that ain't, that ain't too bad. That's about a gallon of fuel. Just a little bit in front of the CG. That's perfect. But now, what I've got to do, quit talking so damn much, quit loafing. This gear door is, this gear door is hitting the side of the fuselage, you know, and it, it, it's opening enough, but not where it should. It's opening about right there. Should be straight up and down. So on my next set of wings, I'm going to pull this out another 3 16 and then we'll be fine back here and everywhere else. And that'll give me a little bit more clearance right there. Alright, alright. Now what? Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna. Trim the bottom of this. And glue these bad boys. I gotta make me one more of these spacers. I gotta make one more of these and uh, I'm just gonna use my 2108 resin just my clear resin on the cotton flock it up and you see that's the same resin I use man and I'll rough these up again just uh, make sure everything's sanded with rough paper when I glue these on this time it's gonna be for real the last time I used five minute epoxy popped it right out but uh, it ain't gonna do that no more that's a pill ply edge right there and this just needs standing that five minute epoxy peeled right off that stuff you know but that's it that's for wood you don't want to glue nothing to fiberglass with five minute okay now what do I gotta do I gotta trim the bottom of this i to trim the bottom a little bit on both sides. You know, it probably wouldn't hurt just to take this all the way around. That'd give me a little bit of breathing room. Yeah. Cougar today. John is rolling. He says he's going to maiden it same day I do this. So we'll see. He's got it about done. Wire's a little bit on the messy side, but not bad. You can see some hoses and some air lines. You know, not bad for his first jet he's put together. finally got it. You know, he was looking at the whole thing as a project and getting overwhelmed. He'd work on one thing for a little bit then jump on something else and never get nothing finished. You know and uh, would get overwhelmed and then give up. I finally got him to just work on one thing at a time. You know work on just pick little chunks. You know this gear to work. Get that gear door. Yes. And just stay on it till it's done. 